An LSU Ag Center researcher's work is benefiting two Louisiana companies, the oil industry and the environment. Dr. Chingling Wu in the School of Renewable Natural Resources has developed a process to recycle used plastic oil containers. There are uh, many available on the market, you know, actually after being used, um, and they simply uh, landfill. Wu created a composite material out of oil containers, other recycled plastics, and wood fibers, and developed different applications for it. A couple from New Iberia heard of the material and approached Wu for its use in plugging fractures in the earth during oil and gas drilling and preventing drilling fluid from seeping into the environment. The industry currently uses various materials such as graphite, specialty fibers, and cellulose fibers, some of which can be very expensive. Wu's product was named Tiger Bullets and put to the test. The field data came back just absolutely incredible. It's a lower cost product and it works much better than anything that we had seen. Dan Wallace owns a millwork company in northeast Louisiana that has been affected by the current economic situation. He decided to dedicate part of his facility to producing Tiger Bullets. Because it's different from the housing market, I had to diversify. There's, there's uh, this downturn in the housing market has been a, a lesson I learned well. Manufacturing Tiger Bullets has allowed Wallace to hire back some of the employees he had to lay off. Tiger Bullets are being used in oil fields in Colorado and Arkansas. The Parker's business, Ho Pluggers, plans to market the product worldwide and hopes to get it into the oil fields in the Gulf of Mexico by the end of the year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting. Workers at Vermilion Gator Farm are busy curing the skins of some of the 80,000 alligators the farm raises. But next year, the skinning and curing sheds will sit mostly empty. The Saguaras have operated the farm for more than 25 years, but they've never seen a year this bad. In June, they didn't collect any alligator eggs and won't raise a crop of alligators in 2010. With the market like it is, uh, we're not even finished being paid for our alligators from last year and we're killing this crop and shipping it overseas right now, so it doesn't make any sense to pick eggs, raise another crop. The price for alligator skins have plummeted from around $45 a foot for a 7-foot alligator several years ago to around $10 a foot this year. Luxury alligator products are not selling in this economy, which has led to an oversupply of skins. Sagrara will send this year's skins to a tannery overseas, but he is not sure if he will get any money for them.
He's tanning it for and is holding it for us, and hopefully eventually in the move when we get paid for him. The wild alligator season runs from September to the end of October. Louisiana allows up to 35,000 alligators to be harvested per year, but experts expect few hunters will harvest wild alligators. For the most part, the commercial harvest this year uh, is, is almost non-existent. Shirley says Louisiana has a healthy alligator population, and with hunting and egg collection down, Shirley suspects this could lead to nuisance problems. The more alligators you have, eventually they're going to get uh, in people's backyards or show up in places where they, they shouldn't be. And Hurricanes Gustav and Ike disrupted nesting this year, and Shirley says nesting will likely be up next year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.